Welcome back guys, Lone Star Patient here. Thanks for joining me. So today I wanna to look at one of the most overlooked features for any EDC setup, and that is a good quality gun belt. So the gun belt I wanna look at today is gonna to be made by Magpul. This is their Tejas L Original gun belt. So what I wanna do is let's jump inside and we'll take a look at some of the unique features of this belt. So stay tuned. Okay, so to jump into some of the details on the Magpul Tejas L Original gun belt, let's first talk about how this belt is actually constructed. So it is made from a top grade bullhide leather, and then on the inside of the belt, it's actually been lined with a reinforced polymer to give it rigidity. Now, it measures one and a half inches wide by a quarter inch thick. And then the color you see here is in what Magpul calls their chocolate color. However, it does also come in a black as well as a light brown. Now, in terms of the sizing, so most gun belts are typically sized not based on your pant size. And certainly this belt is no different. So, Macmill actually provides very clear, specific instructions on their website in terms of how to get the proper sizing for your belt. However, let's run through those quickly. So what you wanna do is take your current leather gun belt, and of course, if you're wearing inside the waistband, you wanna factor that in as well. But you wanna measure from the fold of the leather at the buckle and measure down to where the most commonly used hole is on the other end of the belt and capture that size. And then from there, the way it correlates to Magpul sizing is that Magpul actually measures from, again, the same location at the fold of the leather, at the buckle, down to the fifth hole from the end of the belt on the other end. So for example, one, two, three, four, five. So as you can see, this hole is almost in the center in terms of the available holes on the rest of the belt. So you've got some latitude to say adjust it tighter by three notches, as well as loosen it by four notches. Now, the other thing to mention on the hole spacing is that these are actually reduced down to a three quarter inch spacing between holes. So you've got a little bit more of an incremental adjustment than you would have on most of the belts. Now, for example, as you might've seen a second ago, the belt here that I wear is actually a 36. So for reference, I wear a size 34 pant typically. And so I've got a 36 inch belt. So my preference is that the tag end of the belt or what comes through the actual buckle is as short as, as possible because I don't like or want any interference with say any accessories such as say a mag carrier to interfere with the actual belt itself if possible. Now one more thing to note is that the hardware that you see is actually interchangeable. So Magpul sells hardware kits to where you can adjust or swap these out including the buckle with other options. Now personally I don't ever see the need to swap out the hardware, again, I'm certainly fine with say this chrome color, but one thing that I wanted to mention and that's somewhat of an annoying issue is that if I put the tag end through the buckle, so let's percent, pretend it's through the buckle, what I find is that as it goes through this leather keeper, the tag end of the belt will interfere with the actual hardware that you see here. So a lot of times I have a difficult time fishing this through again with this belt on my body, say, carrying a holster, and obviously this belt being cinched down, it's difficult sometimes to get this through. So for me, it's somewhat of an annoyance to have this hardware raised up to where it interferes with the tagging of the belt. Now, the other thing is that my concern over that is that over time, you might have a lot more wear and tear on this tag end than you would say if this was not there. However, it's something I wanted to point out and I haven't had any significant issues thus far. I've been wearing this belt for several months now and there's no excessive wear or tear here. So it certainly may hold up over time. Just one thing I wanted to point out. All right guys, so right up to this video covering the Magpul Tejas L Original Gun Belt. What I wanna do is run through some of the advantages as well as the disadvantages, at least in my opinion, on this particular belt. Actually, let's start off with the disadvantages first. So the first disadvantage that I see is gonna be in the limited amount of adjustment on this particular belt. So given that this is set up much like a traditional leather belt, you're only as good as the hole spacing in terms of adjustment. Now compare that to say a Velcro belt or maybe a belt such as the Aries gear belt where you've got more of a incremental fine adjustment on those type belts versus this one. Now the second disadvantage is gonna be in the price. So this price comes in at a retail of right around $85. And I was able to pick this up, however, on sale for about 50. So at $50, I think that it's an exceptional value for the quality of the belt that you get. However, $85, I think there's a lot of alternatives, such as the alternatives I mentioned, in terms of looking elsewhere for other quality gun belts. Now let's switch to the advantages. So the first advantage I see is, of course, having the name of Magpul behind this particular belt. 
Now, granted, Magpul is not known for making belts. They are known, of course, for the P-Mag, as well as other farm accessories, but it does have the Magpul name behind it. So in terms of customer service, I think that they will certainly step up to the plate if there are issues with this particular belt. Now, the second advantage is gonna be that this belt is water resistant. So granted, I'm down here in Texas where most of the months of the year it is warm. I do perspire quite a bit, especially since I carry inside the waistband appendix. So I don't have to worry too much in terms of the sweat getting on this belt and possibly running or warping this belt over time. Now, the third advantage, of course, I'm biased to this, but they are made out of Austin, Texas, given that Magpul is Austin, Texas based. So they've got that going for them. But hopefully you found the video helpful. Maybe you consider buying this belt specifically. Maybe you're just looking around at the options available in terms of EDC belts. So hopefully you found this video helpful. But thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And keep it the good fight. website detailing how to size and choose this belt that'll suit gun belts for EDC. So what I want to do is take a look at the Magpul Tejas, the El Arijanal gun belt.